and uh, hi everyone. Uh, my name is Evan. I based in Taiwan, uh, Taipei, and uh, I am so glad to have this opportunity to let you know Business Source Automate online. So that's great. It's a very interesting experience. And uh, in the first beginning, I just want to let you know how to find our database. In library's homepage, as you can see, there's uh, one search and the database. So you can go to database and uh, start from uh, B, so you can find uh, A to Z database. And there are 13 databases uh, for start from B, so you can go to the bottom of this page, so you can see uh, Business Source Automate is over here. So when you click this link, then it will bring you to the uh, landing page. You need to log in with your ID and password. So when you log in, then you can go to uh, our Expo Business Source uh, landing page. So it's very easy to find us. And uh, I also want to let you know uh, what is Business Source uh, Automate. So in our homepage, if you go to expo.com, uh, then uh, you can find Business Source Automate over here. And uh, this is a brief uh, uh, introduction. Then you can see uh, with the guidance, you can see we have a title list. So if you want to know how more, how much uh, Fortech journal we have magazine and uh, how much active Fortech peer review journal we have, actually you can check this website and you can see all the title list over here. So you, when you click this HTML list, you can see the uh, title list. So it's very uh, easy. Or you can just search for business of automate, then you can find uh, our home page. And there are uh, more than 3,000 journal articles over here. So you can see uh, you can see the list, the source type, uh, ISEN, publication name. So there are a lot of journal or magazine uh, in our database. And this uh, important point I want to let you know is the four text delay months which means not all the journal, not all the magazines, you can see the latest issue. You need to uh, pay attention to the full text delay. So if there's no uh, full text delay here, uh, it's fine, you can see the latest issue. But then if there's a full text delay 12 months, like this journal, uh, this magazine, then you can see there are 12 uh, months delay. So you cannot see the latest issue. You can see the uh, full text, uh, 12 months before, uh, like uh, in last uh, February. So you can see the last February is four text. So just let you know uh, in this list, there's an important message for four text today. So when you search for business automate and you can find the latest issue, do not complain your uh, librarian. Uh, just go to our uh, landing page, then go to our uh, title list, then you can see this message. Okay. And there are a lot of uh, journal, um, famous journal or popular journal magazines. You can search it to see if you can uh, find the journal you want or find the magazine you are interested to read. Okay, so this is the, uh, our uh, title list. And uh, this is the, all the content we have. We have uh, journal magazines and the peer review journals. So for academic research, you can find academic journal, uh, peer review journal in our business uh, BSEU. And uh, we also provide videos as well. And uh, we also have a lot of uh, information uh, or uh, content uh, is not a uh, journal or magazine. And uh, if you scroll down, then you can see uh, we provide a unique company view. So today's topic is find uh, uh, company information. So I will guide you how to find uh, company information in our platform. And uh, we also provide case study, industry profile, and the SWOT analysis, books, and uh, articles from journal magazine we just mentioned, and uh, the market uh, research report, uh, product reviews, and the country reports. So there are a lot of uh, content we have uh, related to business research. So you can uh, go to BSU and find this content in this database. And I also want to present a video for you so you can just uh, about two minutes so you can watch For this business video. studies, as the leading provider of information for business resources, EBSCO excels at integrating products and services to optimize the efficiency of your library and maximize the research experience 
experience for your end users. EBSCO offers a complete business resource solution with leading full text databases, ebooks, e journals, print subscriptions, and more. EBSCO Discovery Service brings all of your business studies resources together, whether from EBSCO or other information partners, and makes them easily accessible from one search box. EBSCO Discovery Service is the definitive resource for subject specific academic research, including business studies. Business Source Ultimate, the leading comprehensive business database, provides an unprecedented wealth of peer review, full text journals, and other resources covering topics such as accounting, finance, banking, marketing, management, and much more. Sources include more than 3,000. 500 active full text journals and more than 2,000 active full text peer review journals, and a unique company view feature that provides students with detailed company information on finances, subsidiaries, products, and more for over 1 million of the world's largest public and private companies. When you order your e journals and e packages through EBSCO, you enhance the end user experience instant, one-click access to full text with Smart Links Plus. Whether searches originate in the EBSCO database or EBSCO Discovery Service, Smart Links Plus writes an identity engine continuously checks the availability, ownership, and location of full text to ensure users can find the content they want immediately, and everything appears in a single result list. In addition to full text databases, e-journals, and thousands of high-quality e-books, EBSCO offers magazine archives from top business publishers, databases, e-books, and e-journals from top content providers will ensure your researchers find the information they're looking for, bringing business students to your library, and maximizing the use of your resources. Contact EBSCO today to optimize the resources for business studies in your library. Okay, so this is the brief introduction about EBSCO and the uh, business source uh, automate. And I think everyone uh, ever used uh, libraries uh, quick one search before. And uh, the, the one difference between one search and the EBSCO database is as uh, you can uh, find a lot of journal articles in one search, including this journal and magazines. But uh, business source uh, not only provides journal and magazines, we have a lot of case report, uh, country report, and this source may not index in uh, one search. So when you search for one search, it's very great to find all the article, journals, magazines. You can find it on um, the one search box. But uh, if you want to find the, uh, uh, the reports, videos, company information, uh, you need to go to business source automate. So this is the difference between uh, one search and the business source automate. So just let you know the difference. Okay. And uh, if you want to go to EBSCO host, then go to library homepage I just uh, mentioned earlier. So in this landing page, I just want to let you know how to do the search uh, uh, by using the company information. And uh, you can also find a company profile as well and uh, find the publication. And in this page, you can see we provide basic uh, search and advanced search. So the difference between uh, the difference is uh, in business source uh, automate we provide um, sorry because the same uh, session time out. So I need to go to business automate again. Okay. So uh, this is business or uh, business automate. And as you can see, we provide basic search and advanced search. In advanced search, you can see we provide more than three search box. So you can click the add to add a more keywords over here. And if you click basic search and click the search option, you can see the basic search, one search box to search uh, BSU. And if you are not the business student, you can click choose database then you can see the whole list, uh, all the database libraries subscribed from EBSCO. Then you can see the list over here. So you can select all to search all the database. And uh, if you want to know what is ASP, you can hover your mouse to this icon. Then you can see the introduction of ASP. And if you want to know AAS, then you can hover this, uh, your mouse to AAS. Then you can see the introduction. So uh, if you want to 
choose database, change database, please click choose database. And uh, uh, currently we are searching BSU. Okay. And uh, we want, if you want to search for company information, you need to go to, uh, in the left hand, up hand side, you can see there's a uh, company information over here. If you click, if you uh, put a keyword over here, you can search for books, journals, and the more. You can find some uh, common information as well, but uh, it will vary on the uh, data. So if you want to just find common information, you can go to uh, company information over here. And uh, by clicking this link, then you can see we are searching company information. And uh, how many uh, company uh, data we have, if you go to our introduction page, then you can see uh, company view. We provide more than 1.1 million uh, company for you. Um, more than about about 15 of the uh, the company is inside the uh, is come as America's uh, company, and 15% uh, is outside America. So just that you know uh, how many company you can find more than one million. And uh, let's go back to the search result, uh, search page. And in this search box, then you can see a drop up menu. You can search for company name. You can find automatic parents, Tiki, Tsingo, and the keyword search. So if I if you want to search for Tiki uh, Tsingo, uh, for example, I uh, go to this website. Then you can see if I want to find Facebook, then you can see the symbol is FB. So I can search FB over here. Then you can see the uh, Facebook, uh, company information. Facebook is over here. And you can use the uh, company name to search as well. So I can search for Facebook. Then it will bring you the different results because uh, uh, Facebook has different uh, local office uh, in different countries. So you can see the list. Uh, there are 48 uh, Facebook company. Uh, start, uh, uh, there are 38 uh, company uh, you can find in the search results. So this is company name and the TV number. And you can also download the record uh, if you drag over to select all and this uh, export to CSV, download to CSV future. If you click download CSV, then uh, it will download a file for you. And I just download uh, earlier, then convert it to PDF. So as you can see, this is the uh, Excel file I just download and uh, uh, convert to PDF. So you can see the Facebook and then you can see the uh, revenue over here. Uh, next page, I think, revenue. So uh, you, you can download an uh, uh, Excel file by uh, clicking this button. It's called uh, Download CSV. So uh, if you want to search for company name, you can see Facebook over here. You can see a ticket number or keyword search. And the keyword search, you, may, you can search for Facebook, or you can, if you want to find the, the oil company, and you do not know its name, you can search for oil and the click search. So you can see on the search results, more, there are more than, there are 44,000, uh, more than 44,000 uh, companies related to oil. So you can uh, select all and download it as well. Okay. So this is how to do the business so, uh, company information search. And let's go back to Facebook. And uh, what we what information we provide for company information. You can click this link. If you click the link, then you can see the detail page. In this detail page, you can see the name. And uh, actually, uh, in our company, company information, we just provide the basic information. So you can see it's very basic company data. And uh, you can expand it and the industry and more. That's all, that's all the uh, data we have in company information, more than 1 million. And there are some additional future I want to show you. Uh, it's fine related company. And uh, we also have a link uh, to article by using NAIC as code. So uh, the, the difference between these two links is if you click this link, it will search for uh, 519190, uh, the NAIC code. So if you click this link, then you can see our system will search the, uh, this code for you. Okay, so there are more than uh, 58,000 journal articles over here. So if you click the link, you can search with the uh, NAICS code. 
and uh, if you go back to the left hand side you can highlight it and click search then this search is going to search for company so the difference between these two links is uh, the first link is you, you can search for article by using the, the, the NAICS code and if you search for uh, in the left hand side you click the link then it will search for different company uh, to you so you can see the companies over here so you can select all and the download to uh, CSV or you can click the add to folder add this record to the folder and review it later okay so this is company information so in company uh, information page just that you know the difference the first link in the left hand side is find the related companies and uh, in the bottom of this page link to articles is go to the search results by bringing you the articles uh, for you so this is the difference between these two link okay and then i think maybe you will have a question about naics code what is naics code if i click this link then our system will search it for you okay and uh, in the search result page uh, you can go to advanced search in advanced search if you hover down you can see there's a naics code industry code link if you click this link then you can see the brief introduction in our help make in our help page so we can see NAIS by description and uh, uh, NAICS is not created by Exco. Uh, we work with uh, this company so you can see the brief introduction over here NAICS stands for North America Industry Protection System so it's a six digit uh, code uh, over here six digit uh, code so you can see the list over here so this is the six digit code one code uh, request a uh, present of uh, uh, I think the industry so just that you know uh, this is an AICS and uh, there's a SIC code as well so you can see the uh, difference so you can see the whole list over here so if you want to know what the what is the difference between Facebook? You can cover it down to find the number. Okay. So just that you know, if you want to uh, find uh, oh, what is NASS code, you can search for Google, or you can go to App Store in the advanced search, then you can see uh, NASS code over here. You can click here to watch our description. So if I search for uh, ZC uh, this code, uh, you can see the search result list. And you can search for article. And how it's called doing the search for ZC uh, NAICS code. Uh, if you click the link, then you can see in the detail page of this record, there's uh, an AICS code over here. So when we are searching for uh, NAICS NAICS code, then you can see we just find this uh, field. Okay, and what is uh, this number we plan, we plan is all other information service. Okay. So just that you know the, uh, how to uh, do the search in company information. You can search for company name, uh, automate appearance, click the thing dot in the keyword search. Okay. So this is company information, it's very uh, easy. And if you want to know more about Facebook, because in common information, we we'll just provide very basic uh, content for you. So if you want to find a report about Facebook, then you can go to more. There's a company profile. So if you click company profile, then you can see the list. And uh, you can search for Facebook. And uh, Facebook is over here. And uh, you can see the PDF. And uh, this PDF is provided by Marketing Live Report. If you click the uh, Marketing Live Report, then you can see the detail uh, report. And uh, I find it here. So you can see uh, this article is not created by Exco. It's we work with uh, Marketing Live. And if you search for, uh, for Marketing Live, you can see the Marketing Live, this company selling its report. Okay. So you can see the publication date. It means this report is updated uh, frequently. Uh, I think it's quarterly. So you can see the publication date over here to see if you are watching the latest report. Okay. And then you can go to the uh, 
table of contents. And uh, this is a key information over here. You can see SWOT analysis. So if you want to find a uh, SWOT analysis, uh, you can go to Eva, you can click this link. So it will bring you to SWOT analysis. So you can see the SWOT analysis of Facebook. Okay. And uh, you can also uh, have, you can go to the page, you can see the tree and the top competitor as well. So you can see the top competitor. So Google and uh, Instagram. <laughs> I uh, think so they purchase Instagram and the uh, LinkedIn and the uh, MySpace. So you can see uh, the, the reports coming from marketing line. And uh, let's go back. And if you click back, then you can go to the search result page. You can download this uh, PDF as well. And I just want to mention the left hand side, you can see there's a tool over here. So you can uh, read you can you can read this article online or you can click this Google Drive. If you click Google Drive, then if you log into your Google account, then we will save this article to your Google Drive. Okay, so if you want, you can click this link. And you can also click email, which means you can email this report to anyone. So you can send a report to yourself, to your friends, or to anyone on your email list. And uh, so, next. And uh, there's a citation format over here. So you can select APA, then you will receive this report with the APA citation format. So if I click send, I will receive a PDF in this search box with the APA citation format. So you can download this PDF, you can save to Google Drive, or you can email to your friend or yourself. And if you want to add this article to the folder, you can click this link this icon, you will add this article to the folder. And there is a site uh, icon. If you click this button, then you can see we provide different citation formats, ABN, TM, APA, uh, and uh, Chicago. Because it's a report, so uh, it's not show very correctly. So just let you know, we provide different citation formats. Okay. And it's a six edition, uh, six edition if you are uh, uh, are you seeing APM? And uh, this is the uh, more and uh, coming from a company profile. So if you want to find a detailed report about a company, please go to more and the uh, company profile and search for the company's name. Okay, let's go provide thousands of uh, SWOT analysis report for you. Okay, so this is company information and uh, uh, company profile. The difference is between the difference between these two uh, company uh, information is company information provide a basic uh, company information for you and you can search the related article, search a uh, related company and the uh, company profile provide uh, a very detailed report for you. Okay, so this is the difference. And if you want to go to our homepage, you can click the new search or click the logo, then it will bring you to our landing page. And the next part I want to uh, mention is uh, how to find a, a famous or a popular journal magazine on our platform. Okay, so if I want to search for Harvard Business Review, then if I type it over here, then you can see I just search for Harvard Business Review and I, I'm using the keyword search. So you can see this article is not, uh, it's not coming from Harvard Business Review. I just use the keyword to search. So if you want to find a specific journal magazine, please go to publication in the upper left hand side uh, by clicking this publication link. Then you can see the search box over here. So I can search for a journal or, or magazine. And if you want to find the a, a, a list, let's go to our uh, homepage, then you can see the whole list. Or you can see there's an A to Z, uh, you can browse by A to Z. So you can search or you can browse by A to Z, it's the same, okay. And the device search for Harvard Business Review, then you can see Harvard Business Review is over here. And uh, we provide for text from 1922. So, uh, there are since 98 year for text for you. So if you want, you can read almost 100 year uh, articles uh, from Harvard Business Review. Okay. Uh, and how to find this, uh, this journal, you can click this link. 
cover business review. So you can click this link, then you can see the detailed page. And uh, in the left hand side, you can see all issues available. And uh, this is the publication details. You can see the publisher information. So make sure the publisher is the, the right publisher you want to find. And uh, we provide four tags and uh, this publisher's uh, URL and the frequency. Okay. And uh, if you uh, expand 2020, then you can see the second issue. March and April already being released on our platform, so you can click this link. Then, if you click this link, then you can see the latest uh, issue of uh, Harvard Business Review, and there are 29 articles in this issue. So, you can see the list of these 29 articles. And if you click the PDF for text, then you can read the for text. So, you can see the, the pages over here. If I click the PDF for text, then you can see the list. Okay, and it's the same. If you want to uh, save to your Google Drive, if you want to email to yourself, uh, that's fine. So you can see the uh, this page. Okay, and in the left hand side, if you can expand it, you can see uh, our detail record. So there's a uh, uh, tips over here. If you want to see the different uh, in different uh, pages, you can go to you can by case you think one to five, uh, which means this is the first article in this issue. So all the list is in the uh, box over here. So you can uh, click the latest issue. It will bring you to the, the article. So you do not need to go to the search result page. You can. Uh, change different article over here. So you can click this one and go to the next article. Click this one to the next article. So just that you know the, in the left hand side, uh, there's a uh, uh, full text content you can choose over here. And uh, you can also choose another issue. We just expand 2020, the, the, the April and the March edition. So if you want to uh, read the journal and February edition, you can click this one. So you will bring you to the page as well. So just so you know, you can uh, change the issue or uh, read the article in the left hand side. You need to uh, expand it. Okay. So I back to if I go back to search result list. Then you can see the twenty nine articles over here. And uh, what's the difference between HTML for text and PDF for text? The difference between HTML for text and PDF for text is HTML for text provide two features. The first one is translation. So you can translate, uh, translate the English into Chinese or a different language. And the second feature is we can read this article for you. So if you want to listen to this uh, paragraph, you just need to highlight it and click play. And you can see our system will read this paragraph for you. Yeah, I hope it works. And we provide three essence, American, Australian, and British. And uh, you can also download it. So if you click the download MP, MP3 button, you can see you can click agree and download file. And our system will read this article all article for you and uh, uh, save as an mp3. So you can save to WhatsApp when you click the mp3 file, then our system will read the latest issue for you. So you can watch it online or you can listen to our mp3 file. Okay. And, uh, okay. and uh, let's go back to the publication. So if you want to uh, go to the search result page and go to uh, results, over here. And uh, uh, this is a hint uh, for publication. So let's go back to this page. Okay, let's uh, go to upper business review again. So publication again, and the search for publication. And the thing is, if you go to Harvard business review in this page, then you can see this uh, search within this publication. The search with this, uh, with, uh, in this publication means you can search and a topic and in this uh, journal. So this is only one search box, so you can click advanced search. 
And in advanced search, you can see we provide three different uh, search types over here. So if I want to search for time management, and uh, I just want to search this time search management in this journal, then I can click search. And when you click search, then you can see all the articles. Uh, it's only uh, in the Harvard Business Review. And uh, I just want to remind you uh, the other tip is this uh, search a field. So if you expand uh, as TX and click search again, then you can see the search result will expand. So if I click search and uh, the same keywords, so you can see the search result expands. So in publication, you can search uh, one uh, terms or two uh, keywords in our uh, article. So you can search within the publication by go to publication and uh, select the uh, uh, search within the publication. So this is a hint because if you want to, uh, I think most almost everyone will uh, by using this uh, keyword search for how to bring the review and the search for time management. But actually it will bring you everything uh, related to the two uh, topic. So if you want to focus on how about business review, just go to publications, okay. And uh, there are a lot of uh, uh, academic journals as well, like uh, MIS Quarterly. So if you, are, if you want to read the latest uh, issue of MIS Quarterly or academic journal or peer review journal, you can search for it. And we also provide uh, magazines as well. So if I want to search for Forbes, then I can search for Forbes or Bloomberg uh, Business Week. It's also available on our platform. Okay, so what is over here? So they are uh, about 30 years for this magazine. So you can click this link. Uh, it's the same uh, detail page. So you can see all the issue over here. Okay, so uh, just let you know, there are a lot of publication. You can uh, search for it or you can uh, browse it by A to Z. And if you want to uh, receive the latest uh, the, the alert from our system, then you can see if you want to re re receive the, the latest issue alert in our system, you can see this uh, create journal alert uh, button over here. So if you want to create a journal alert, you can click the create journal alert. And our system remind you, you need to sign in and uh, so you can uh, send the email alert to yourself. So you need to sign in first. The sign in is over here. So you can click the sign in or click sign in here. So if I click sign in, then you can see the sign in page. And uh, when you click the sign in page, I just want to uh, remind you, you cannot sign in with your student ID or your password. You need to create a new account because Xcode do not have your student ID. So you need to create a, a one account now. So please click one, uh, click the create one now. And if you click create one now, you can see there are two options over here. The first one is the old way you need to fill out this form. And uh, or you can choose sign up with Google. So if you click sign up with Google, all you need to do is just uh, log in with your uh, account uh, so you can uh, sign in your and any of your Gmail account email and password and uh, click OK then you can uh, you can use your Google uh, account and uh, to access Xcode folder so next time uh, you can click sign in with Google if you have your personal folder you can create a lot so if you sign in then you can create a lot over here this a uh, box called email over here so you can uh, put your email over here and click save alert. Okay. And you can use our SS feed uh, as well. Okay. And uh, what is the folder? You can see the folder is for over here. The sign in means sign in folder. So if you click folder, then you can see Xcode provide a folder for you. So we just uh, uh, save the article. If you remember in the company uh, profiles, we just save this article to the folder. So it's over here, articles. So you can see this book over here. So if you have multiple, multiple uh, articles, want to email to yourself, save to article, uh, save the article to folder first and uh, select all and uh, click email. So you can email uh, like maybe 20 or 100 uh, full text for your search box at one time. Okay. 
So this is the folder uh, future. If you want, you can use our folder, but uh, it's only for temporary use. It means if you close this window, all the article will disappear if you save the article and article over here. But if you have your personal folder, then you can sign in and see your uh, article in your personal folder. So just let you know, and uh, there's a journal alert over here. So if you want to create a journal alert and uh, go to publication, find a journal and the click, uh, create journal alert and sign in. Okay. So uh, I think this is almost all the uh, topic today. I want to mention the common information and the find the quality publications on Exco host. Okay. And uh, Exco also provide uh, some uh, uh, online source for you. So if you want to know more about uh, the how to find, how to search the, the other uh, content in Epsco, you can go to Epsco Connect in the bottom of this page. There's a Epsco Connect. So if you click Epsco Connect, then you can see uh, in our page, this is uh, Epsco Connect. And the Epsco Connect, you can see the product help, or you can see the product help update over here, all the tutorial on Exco interface. So I suggest you can click tutorials on Exco uh, interface. So if you click the uh, tutorials, then you can see the uh, list. And uh, we uh, have different features over here, discovery, Exco host database. So you can see uh, if you want to find business source, then you can see advanced searching, basic searching is over here how to create journal alert or search alert or journal alert. So if you want to, if you forget how to create journal alert, just go to this page and click creating a journal alert. Then you can see the uh, detailed information about how to create a journal alert with a video. Okay, about one minute. Notification when a new issue of a specific and we also have a PowerPoint as well. So you can see the PowerPoint over here. So you can download a PowerPoint or you can watch the video online or you can download this video and upload to uh, your EUD uh, learning management system. Okay, so uh, this is the, the our product help. So you can see in this page, we have basic information and how to use uh, Exco folder. Okay, and, and how to use the search history. So. Just so you know, there are a lot of information over here and audio book and the other uh, information. And uh, let's go back to our homepage. So how to find the Exco Connect? Just go to the bottom of this page and the click Exco Connect. And in the Exco Connect, then you can see the quick help materials on Exco interface. And the go to this page, then we can see we provide a uh, uh, list for you, it's called Research Database Tutorial uh, over here. And uh, we also have a YouTube channel called Expo Tutorial. So if you want, you can go to our um, uh, YouTube channel as well. So this is all the information about uh, English. And if you want to find international support resources, you can see uh, there's a link over here. So all the resources except English, so you can see the list, Chinese, Chinese, or Korean is over here. So you can put this link to see the different uh, language over here, okay. So I think this is all the topic I covered today. And uh, I think, yeah, it's almost uh, the, the time. So I will end here and uh, in the last, uh, part is the Q and A. I just want to know if you have any question about our business source automate or Exco host databases. And if you have any question, you can raise your uh, raise your hand and uh, or you can unmute yourself. Fantastic, Evan. Thank you so much. Yes. So as as Evan said, please raise your hand, um, and I will unmute you. Angela, thank you for demonstrating how to <laughs> how to raise your hand. Thanks, Evan, for that very uh, comprehensive um, introduction uh, or overview. I'm just going to give you, a, you know, my applause there. Thank you. Uh, are there any questions for Evan? You can either put up your hand or throw something in the chat. Just while I'm waiting, uh, I do want to go. Thanks for 
showing us the Harvard Business Review, because that, that is a uh, kind of a very key feature of this database, that full, you know, almost 100 years now of the Harvard Business <laughs> Review, the full text of that going all the way back. I put a link in the, in the chat as well. You can find a, sort of a shortcut to that in uh, OneSearch too. And I think Angela is spot on too. I learned something new, uh, just like Angela, the HTML version. Because you know, people often, oh, PDF, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to grab that and just download that and read that. Uh, but with the HTML version, all of those added value added features like the, the read aloud, I'm, I really want to try that with the Australian accent. I'm going <laughs> to see what that sounds like. Um, but yeah, so very good. I would encourage people too, uh, as well, to look at those features that Evan introduced, the folders, the signing up for an account. And thank you too for the reminder that you do need to sign up for a separate account. That's a very common question we get asked at the library. People will come and say, I'm trying to sign in to EBSCO, but it doesn't work. And they're usually trying to sign in with their, their student ID. So do remember that. I'm not seeing any questions or raised hands. Evan, you've done too good a job. You've, I actually was going to ask about Harvard Business Review and all this, but you, you uh, telegraphed that. If there are no questions, I hope you don't mind, Evan. I'm going to steal the screen back from you because uh, I need to go over here. So, oops, that's the wrong button, obviously, present. Uh, so we would like you to please fill out this very brief feedback survey for the event. And I'm also gonna pop the link into, that's not the right link. Uh, actually, first I'm gonna show you what it looks like. There it is. Uh, that's the survey that we want you to fill out. Uh, here's the link in the chat. Uh, so the only thing to bear in mind is the session code. So the session code that we're using for this particular session is 004. So please click on the link, uh, enter the session code 004, and fill in the very, very brief uh, survey. We'll give you uh, a minute or so to do that. And this is an opportunity for you as well to, to think of questions for Evan. Jennifer, any questions? <laughs> we're, Evan, I'm not sure if you're aware, we, we, we're actually between business liaison librarians. That, that position is vacant at HKBU Library at the moment. So it's a shame because it would have been great to have our business librarian here to, to sort of learn firsthand. But I will do my best to remember everything. Oh, but, oh. One thing I forgot is that Evan actually kindly agreed for the recording of this to be uploaded to the library's YouTube channel. So what am I saying? When we do get that new business librarian, uh, we'll be able to show him or her. Here's this link to a presentation that Evan did and he or she can learn all about um, Business Source Ultimate. And uh, if you would like to review this as well, students, you can do that too. Okay. Well, I think people have had time to do that. Although a suspiciously high number of students are uh, seem to be idle, but you know, never mind. I assume that they're busy in another browser filling out the, the survey. That's totally fine. Okay. Well, if there are no questions. I'm going to have one more look at the chat. Jennifer. Jennifer has a, oh no, wait, hang on. This is a private message to me. Uh, oh yes. Very good point that Jennifer has reminded me of via private message. Thanks, Jennifer. Is that, yeah, the CCL administration processing time. Uh, there's a little bit of manual effort that we need to do to get your attendance out of Zoom. Then we have to do some work with some spreadsheets and then we have to add it to the CCL system. Uh, so it will take, gosh, up to maybe even two weeks before you see the CCL credit appear. So please, please don't, you know, check tomorrow and say, ah, where's my CCL credit and start sending us emails. You know, it, it will take a little bit of time. If after, say, two or three weeks, you still see that you haven't gotten credit, then 
uh, by all means, please do contact the library uh, to see what has gone on with your attendance and we will sort it out. No questions. In fact, I see some people are are leaving, <laughs> so <laughs> I better better wrap things up. Thank you one more time uh, to Evan. I'm going to, there's no way for me to react here. Well, I'll just have to uh, give you the round of applause. Jennifer is reacting with, with the thumbs up. Uh, thank you so much for making the time for us and for, for sharing your knowledge of the platform. Uh, it's been a real pleasure.